Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share a word by our sister, Kelly Jean Caudill. The title is Bearing the Weight. And it says here, Wrote this three years ago, very fitting for today. What I hear. The word says, pick up your crosses, to bear the burdens of those crosses you pick up. However, it's very naive to think you can carry those crosses without the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit. Hence, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. You can't take the journey the Father intends for you to go on, loaded down with baggage and luggage, weighing you down. Drop, drop the luggage and weight at Jesus' feet. He will carry the weight. You just take the steps in faith by letting him carry your weight, casting those burdens at his feet. He paid the ultimate price for the weight, or sorry, for that weight to be lifted. Yes, you bear the burden, but hear me when I say this, you cannot carry it without him. The problem is, some of you don't want to let go of dead weight. You're shouldering the weight without his power because you refuse to turn it over. Relinquish control over your circumstances and start moving your feet forward in faith in what only he can do. Control equals self-reliance. Faith requires trust and moving forward through prayer that he already has the circumstances in the palm of his hand. Jesus gave you freedom, but you choose bondage through control. I hear Jesus saying, I came to set you free, to break your chains, to redeem you, wash you, sanctify you, and bring you up in my likenesses. But you deny me in faith. You deny me in your reactions and actions. Your belief is but a little because you refuse to let go of control. You must surrender your will, your ideals, your visions, your dreams, and let my Holy Spirit guide you and lead you. You can't go the right direction because you're not seeking me. Come to me, my yoke, it is light and easy. I give rest to those of you who seek me with all your heart. Self-control is my fruit derived by my spirit within you. It's never from your works to work things out. If you were meant to work it out, that requires no trust and no faith, and as my word says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please call on him right now. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and ask him to be in a relationship with you every single day. Read the word and know him on a daily basis. You all have a great day and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.